<laughs> All right, it's pop news. Janae is back, and we'll see how nice she is to me. Let's oh, go. I'm going to be so nice to you, Dan Harris. Yeah. Okay, it's time for pop news, and we're starting with a football fan's Christmas present that just got supersized. So 12-year-old Luke McCarthy, a J.J. Watt fan, was ecstatic and overcome when he found out his parents got him tickets to watch Charity Classic in June. Well, Watts himself was watching and tweeted, man, this brought legitimate tears to my eyes. I'm truly, truly thankful for every single fan out there from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for your support. So Watt, going one step further and proving again why he's such a class act, sending Luke and his family to the team's playoff game. Ever since I started playing football, he's the only player I've ever known, pretty much. He's always been my hero, and he just He's just a great guy all around. Really, really is. So, uh, Watt saying, I know they'll be enjoying the game. He's just got this heart of gold, J.J. Watt, and looks really? for things that where he can insert himself and, and help people. I mean, remember after Harvey, yes. all, all yeah, the good that he did. Huge efforts. Yeah. Always so, helping out. So genuine, too. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we are all about the kids today. So now to the breathtaking rise of a princess. NBA superstar LeBron James posted this Christmas tweet, meet my princess Zuri Nova through her eyes. All things Zuri coming soon. So Zuri is his incredibly mature, unbelievably adorable five-year-old daughter. And here she is introducing her new YouTube channel. Hi guys, my name is Zuri James. Welcome to All Things Zuri. I'm excited to share my world with you. Oh cute. my goodness, cute. so stinking cute. The youngest member of the James family is set to release her first YouTube video on New Year's Day, wow. and she's off to a mega start, guys. On Instagram, she has 121,000 followers. 24,000 subscribers on YouTube. Wow. Yeah, and hasn't even started yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now to two of our favorite Canadians. Drake, who had a bone to pick with Justin Bieber, and he did it in a hilarious way. So Bieber first posted these pictures of his day on the ice with members of the Toronto Maple Leafs when he introduced his 10-year-old brother Jackson to the guys on his hometown team. Looked like a great day, but fellow Canadian Drake had a major case of FOMO, fear of missing out. Mm -hmm. So he did some creative editing there on Bieber's picture. Look off to the right. Oh my gosh. Child <laughs> picture of himself even wearing skates. <laughs> Justin hilarious. said to have cracked up at the response, doesn't look like their relationship is on thin ice. Love it. Get it? I, see I what feel you like did Drake there. Yeah. Uh -huh. a game if he wants to go. I game. think he could too. Yeah. Okay, and finally, a closer look at your morning cup of coffee. A new study found the type of cup you get your Java jolt from affects your perception of the way it tastes. So researchers in Brazil found that if we drink from a cup that's smooth on the outside, like a porcelain one, we perceive the coffee to be sweeter than from a cup with more texture. Yes. Coffee was rated as more acidic from a rough feeling cup, like the ones you probably get at work, mm -hmm. generally. <laughs> um, noting that they usually make us drink out of the palms of our hands. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's so hot. Um, noting that drinking coffee is truly a multi-sensory experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This coffee is good. Yeah. I wonder no, what happens if you drink out of a, a paper straw. We'll Extra see. sweet. Uh, we'll have to tell you about that next week because we're out of time. Stay tuned for John Carlin this week. Have a great Sunday. Happy. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.